my money that is the language of an unbeliever my house my car my business i am a millionaire i'm a billionaire not just as a confession of the word but just to rub it into people and you demand all kinds of human worship because of it you are relating wrongly if you are blessed you are blessed you don't have to rub it on the faces of people most of the people who do that are just at their infancy into the wealthy place i can tell you people who are established there you know it by the character of stability they they, they use others more superior parameters to command respect not resources are we together it is my prayer i'm saying it again and i'm praying for everybody here sincerely some of us may need to tame our pride and our attitude towards things your life your relationship with god changed many things went wrong in your life when the blessing began to come while you were trekking you were moving no nothing you see one of the ways that you manage things is to remember where he took you from always remember thou shall remember koinonia we are wrapping up do not forget this man of god thou shall remember i still remember the days of infancy of this ministry absolutely nothing blind trust in jesus and that was it i remember one of the major financial blessings that came to this ministry that time was twenty thousand. a lady gave so that we we'll buy mat instead of sitting on the ground Do not forget where God took you from. Apostle, I'm a billionaire. You are not the first. You will not be the last. And don't be part of the many lessons that, that, that others are learning from. Negatively. If God has blessed you and he has helped you, enjoy the blessings of God. But let your heart and your mind be on Jesus. That you can push that car you can push all those things, the, the estates and everything. And people look at you and say, ah, man of God, as great as you are, it's as if you don't like good things, Abi. Run away from them. They may be sincere, but they are leading you to the path of, of deception. 